What's up crew and welcome to today's vlog. As you guys know, I pulled into my driveway. Well, I got inside my house at around 11.30. Took a couple things out of the truck, like my computer and important stuff like that that have batteries or can't really get cold. So I did that and then I just went to sleep. This is what we came home to. We got snow, ice. I even have my turtleneck on because it's, it's chilly. Florida, they had awesome weather. I loved every minute of it. Now you get it, everybody gets it. You know, you can only go so far for so long and then you gotta come back to this little place called home. You know, whether the weather sucks or you might not necessarily get along with your family completely, but home is home. But anyways, I unloaded a couple things and then I went to the post office because a whole bunch of people said that they sent me stuff. And like, look at this, this is crazy. And that's, that's only a few things. All these, there's some down there, right here. The whole stack of those. You guys are mad. I, I'm excited, very, very excited. The Motron made it home. This little, this padding almost fell off. It was probably another thousand miles. I bet you that would have blew off. You know, we lost the black portion. Um, I'm gonna have to look for something like that so I can redo the seat. I wish I tore that off before I even left. But everything looks the same. Everything's where I put it. We didn't have any issues. I should have probably taken care of that before I went to Florida because it's been really, really cold. The truck looks a little bit more dirty than it did down south. And I think this is it. You guys are freaking nuts! In a good way. Wow. Have you seen this? So I actually think I want to split these up. I don't want to just, I just don't want to open up every single one. Like this feels like my second Christmas. This is, this is crazy. I'm looking at the postage on this one and this one costs $41 alone. Just to, just to be shipped. Let's get to this epic mail time. If you guys want to send me something, my address is right here. 3D Machines, PO Box 122. We can share the fame together. Okay, I'm not gonna open it yet. But I do like what he has to say here. It says, just like you like it, brand used. It's a dirt bike stand. Are you kidding me? I did want to build one of these, but since you sent this, I guess I don't have to build one. Sweet. That's really cool. Dalton, hope you are feeling froggy fresh. Oh, I am. We have noticed on many occasions you have used your three ton jack stands to haul up your dirt bikes. That is true. So that you will stop doing that, I have sent you one of my extra stands. Keep getting the shot. Really enjoy watching your vlogs every day. Oh, don't forget, tell Jake the Toilet Snake hi for me. Matt, I will definitely do that, Matt. Thank you very much. Thank you for the ladder. Thank you for the stand. I will definitely use it. But first. Now it's time to do a medium one. Money shot! You guys will see it before me. Maybe. Get out of here. Let, let me just add that you guys are professional packers. You guys use bubble wrap and everything. I would just throw something in a box and it would probably, it'd probably show up in a million pieces, but you guys like take the, you guys are good. kidding me is this the exact one let me go let me go look are you kidding me it's the exact same one I'm glad I didn't fix this in Florida I took it down to Florida to fix it I never got to it though yep that's who it is crazy British bloke 
This is one of the guys I looked up to when I first started out. He was one of the guys that got me started doing YouTube. So I want to thank him before I even read his letter. Well, it's actually, it's actually pretty short. Dalton, I think this is the same as yours. I upgraded this one. Keep on doing what you are doing. Crazy British bloke on the YouTubes. I remember before I even broke a thousand subscribers, I sent him a glass with his name engraved in the glass. And now he returned the favor much, much more so. So thank, thank you very much, Chris. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. This is awesome. I will definitely put one of these stickers on my wall of shame. I mean, wall of fame. Can I just mention the ride home? We didn't have a single radio. We didn't have anything playing. All we had was the music of our mouths. There were some silent moments, let me tell you that. Let's do one more and then that'll be it for this session. Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson from Southern Maryland. Hi Patrick. I watch all of your videos and like them. Can't wait for some snowmobile videos, hopefully. I hope so too. Uh, you know, we had a whole bunch of snow while I was down south. I come back and it's melting. I hope these fork bleeders can come in handy on your CRF or... Well, thank you very much, Patrick. I hope I can use these. Thank you for the thought. That wraps up this episode of Mail Time. I will put all your stickers up on my wall. That way we can all... That way we can all share the fame. Yeah! Before we begin, I just want to thank you guys for 100 million views. I'm sorry I, I forgot to mention this. Luckily, I did get footage of it when it actually happened, but now we're up to like 110 million, so that's awesome. So yesterday, as you guys know, we had a conversation and it went amazing. You guys left some awesome comments and you guys had some great ideas. Now, to be expected, you have a lot of people that think the same way. I mean, if you step back and think about what 3D Machines is, it's us, a bunch of people that are interested in, like, tinkering, dirt biking, automotive, power sports, stuff, stuff of that nature. So when we start thinking similarly, that's not a surprise. For 500k, we want to see a new dirt bike. When you hit 500k, you should buy a two-stroke dirt bike. Get a brand new dirt bike for 500k. Once you get 500,000 subscribers, get a two-stroke dirt bike. And then some of you guys had like some crazy ideas. I don't know what you think I am, like Travis Pastrana or, or maybe Evil Knievel. At 500k, jump the Duramax over a couple of cars. Holy smokes, this guy's, this guy's dreaming big. Keep doing what you're doing for 500,000. What about doing a burnout that smells 3D machines? Now, that would take a lot of skill. You gotta think about it. There's a lot of curves in 3D machines. Maybe I should call up Ken Block for that one. I love your idea, Dalton. I don't know many YouTubers that do this kind of stuff. Stay awesome. Thank you. Just click, tap, whatever you're on, iPad, desktop, stuff like that. So as you guys can see, I had like over 4,000 comments. And then a lot of people were saying, like, do a burnout with the Duramax. But I just wanted to mention some of the ideas I had. I, I like the idea of the dirt bike. I like the idea. I like all your ideas. I just want to bring some other ones to the table that you might be interested in. 500,000 sub, truth or dare. That could be interesting. That could get really sketchy really quickly. I was thinking for 500,000 subscribers, maybe possibly wrapping the Duramax. Maybe a giveaway with the Kodiak or something. After after I fix it, of course. I mean, there's nothing set in stone right now. We can do whatever you guys... I'm just giving you more options before we say, this is what's going to happen, Jack. My name's not Jack, my name's Dalton. So once again, I want to thank all you guys for commenting in the comment section smashing the hell out of that like button and sending me stuff like this is awesome you guys are amazing people i hope you guys enjoyed your day happy inauguration day until tomorrow stay froggy fresh 3d machines out hopefully tomorrow we work let's work on the d max tomorrow does everybody d max finally finish her up so then we're not dropping wheels off oh another funny guy said uh at 500,000, i should tighten my leg nuts i'm gonna tighten them as soon as i'm done with the duramax tomorrow how's that until tomorrow 3d machines out